Joe Rogan defends Conor McGregor's decision to pull out of UFC 303, saying it was a wise decision. Yeah. Thoughts? Well, pinky toe. It's exactly what Pajeda had when when he beat Jamal Hill. He had a broken toe too. A lot of guys have had a. Now it's the pinky toe. A lot of guys I fought with broken pinky I toe. I knew about it uh, in advance. Look, here's the thing about a broken pinky toe. When you're a guy who kicks as much as Connor, it's a fucking problem. Hundred percent. And it's also the same foot where his leg was snapped and he went into that fight injured. He's never pulled out of a fight before. Never. This is the first one he pulled out of, and I think it's wise. Because I think if you do have a broken toe and you are going into a fight and you did go into a fight, the last fight injured, what if that fucking toe becomes a real issue? Like, what if he throws a kick and it smashes again and he's in agony and he can't move? I thought you and I were going to disagree on this. I, I couldn't agree more. Cause, yeah. And you got to realize what's on the line for Connor too. Yes. Like, he loses this one, the, the ride's over. Oh, so, 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 why, to, so why risk it? You got to be able to get the fuck out of the way with Michael Chandler. Chandler, you fuck yeah. yeah. So you, you're not going to go in compromised. And right. if the leg that's already fucked up, like you want to, you want your best foot forward, no pun intended. And he spends a lot of time like bouncing on his toes. Oh, yeah. Big time. That, 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 that's his biggest asset against Chandler. Mm -hmm. You got to in and out, stick yep. and move, yep. kicks. You can't that do that with a broken you can't, toe. You can't. Dana White has confirmed that Paige Van Zant will be competing in Power Slap. You heard it here first, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully the cat's not out of the bag already. But yeah, I just signed a contract. And whether motherfuckers like it or not, I am doing power slap. <sighs> Woo! She is doing the power ow, slap. Ow, 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 ow. You're a nut. I just signed a contract to power slap because you know what? I'm fucking... You, you are a nut. I'm fucking Paige Van Zandt. Yeah. I was in the UFC, bare knuckle boxing, boxing. Now I'm doing power slap. Is your goal to do like every combat I'm just gonna sport do it. you I'm gonna can do? I'm going to do literally everything and just piss everybody off. That is, it's crazy. I just can I be con. honest what? with you? I don't know if I'm going to be able to watch. Oh, you're going to enjoy it. <laughs> I'm I, not going to enjoy that. I bet you get a boner. I am not going to enjoy that. <laughs> Anyways, it is on the 28th of this month. Yeah. Oh, geez. So yeah. You know, I, I said this would happen. I said that there, you're going to start to see people crossing over into Power Slap. And, uh, yeah, Paige is the first. The first that, you know, that everybody knows and has such a big following. Michael Chandler reacts to Conor McGregor showing up at Bellator in Ireland. He said, speaking of showing up to events, glad you finally made it to the three arena where the press conference was supposed to be. Sweet slippers. Who's the Bellator tick now? Referencing the insult Connor made during an altercation while filming The Ultimate Fighter last year. Yeah, what, what little Bellator take you, little take you, the f Ikram Aliskarov has no regrets after his knockout loss to Robert Whittaker at UFC Saudi Arabia. Aliskarov took a big risk stepping up last minute against Whittaker and was unfortunately finished in under two minutes. Despite the loss, Aliskarov plans to learn from the experience and come back stronger. Conor McGregor shared how a stem cell treatment on his broken pinky toe might have made it worse. Unable to wear a shoe, he appeared at Bellator Dublin in slippers, revealing his injury through x-rays. McGregor remains determined to recover, hoping for a return as early as August or September. Despite delays, he still eyes Michael Chandler as his next opponent. I've done everything they had. They put stem cell into me foot. They came, took it from the back. They put it in me foot, 20 milligrams of stem cell on my own back from the bone marrow in. And, uh, and 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 I was like right into the into the break, so uh, and then I got a bit and then I was, there was a little bit left over. I said, "Yeah, lob it into my shoulder there. It feels a bit sore." And my shoulder is actually feeling amazing. That stem cell is good stuff. I'm not really getting a little annoying opening up that stem cell. La to be honest with you, but my fucking toe is sore, mate. And I don't know whether the stem cell into the break was a, was the, was the right move because now it's like I have fucking you know the way the chicks put in filler in their face and all they have a little thing. My fucking baby toe looks like that. I don't think it's the swelling anymore. I think it's just the flu. I just think it's the stem cell in my toe. So I'm like, going to have a fucking swollen toe looking thing all the time now. I don't, I don't know. But I'm just recovering my man and that's it day by day. Brian Ortega's upcoming fight against Diego Lopez at UFC 303 might be his last at featherweight. Ortega plans to move up to 155 pounds after the fight because 145 pounds feels stagnant with Max Holloway and Alexander Volkanovsky in line for title shots. He acknowledges there's no title shot in his near future 
and prefers to have fun with his career in a different division. Uh, I was going to be like, hey, do you think an amazing performance? You can go in here and like jump Max and maybe get the fight with Ilya. Like, who knows all that stuff. But is that Bro, all? Th th that's not happening at all. Like yeah. I told someone else, there's there's no there's no title fight for me anytime soon. Why do you think that? I mean, you're coming off an amazing win. You beat Diego. You've never fought Ilya. There's a case to be made for Max. You fought so, him so long ago. Why, why do you not think you're in that picture? Because of what's going on in the game. There is Max has a guaranteed title shot and Volk does as well. Hmm. So even when Duporia does fight, he fights Max. If Max wins, it's Max versus Volk four, which is going to take up to next year. If Tuporia wins, then it's Tuporia versus Volk number two, and I still have to wait till next year. So when I say the title fight is not coming anytime soon, it, it's just, it's not. Because of the favors that both of them have done. The the, the leaps and, and the risks that they both have taken. You know, Volk on two weeks notice as well against Islam and Max against Gaethje. Although it was a full camp, he, he faced Gaethje at the BMF belt. Yeah. So both of them it's just it's a lot everyone's done a lot so for me to say that i'm there and i deserve it right now it's 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 not true so selfishly of course that's that's what that's since i was a kid man i've been chasing to be a champion brian ortega also leaked that max holloway versus Ilya tapuria for the featherweight championship is already done a quick prediction for tapuria versus holloway should that fight be made I think that fight's gonna be. Um, I think that fight's already made. You hear something I haven't, Brian? Something. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just kidding. I heard that fight's already made. Let's just say that way. From what I heard, but I could be wrong. But I Daniel Rodriguez, despite losing to Kelvin Gastelum at UFC Saudi Arabia, came out feeling like a winner. He had to move up a weight class on short notice due to Gastelum's failure to meet the welterweight limit. Rodriguez disclosed that he was rewarded with a new UFC contract and a pay raise, along with 30% of Gastelum's purse. All right, y'all. I'm done complaining about the fight. Fuck it, it happened. I knew the risk. With the risk came great rewards. I lost the fight, but I gained so much more in return. A ton of respect from the fight community, a nice raise, a six fight contract, 30% of his fucking, you know, like, I can't even be mad. Yeah, I wanted to win, but I want so much more in the end. I knew the risk. I took it. Put on a hell of a show. Fans love me. I love y'all. My kids are proud. My family's proud. You know, I lost what I won, so. Fuck it. I can't wait to get home here at the airport. And, you know. Life, baby. Let's go. go. Bo Nickel has called for a fight with Shara Putin Bullet Magomedov. Shara Bullet quickly responded, expressing interest in the fight as well. Both fighters seem eager to prove themselves. Now the ball is in the UFC's court to make it happen. That's all for today. Make sure you like comment and subscribe for more MMA content and if you missed yesterday's news click the video on the screen to get caught up